All right, we are doing DMR D number two. Make sure to put your last name and then your first name and your class period. Um, we are reviewing what tendencies of data, so mean, median, and mode, and the range. Um, so we're first going to find the median of the given data set. Now, how I remember median is because I think of driving. When I am driving and I am in the road, the middle of the road, you know how you have cars on both sides, that middle part of the road, it's called the median. So it literally happens in the middle of the expressway, the middle of the highway. Um, so the first thing that I have to do is put them in numerical order from smallest to largest. So 16, I make sure to cross them out so that I do not miss any numbers. And I'm going to do this while talking, which we know doesn't always go so well. So um, I'm trying to make sure that they are in numerical order from smallest to largest. Oh, see, there's two 23s. So this one is really 23 and then 24 and then 29. So I shouldn't talk while I'm writing. Let me make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so the median means that it's from the outside. So one, I mean both A's, two, three, and this one would be directly in the middle. So the answer to that one is that the median, the one that falls in the middle if I lay them in order, is 23. Now, find the mode. Um, the mode is the one that happens the most. Mode, most. See how they kind of sound the same? So I noticed that I had two 23s. So the mode on this one is 23. Usually these types of data is just remembering what to do with each one. And that's why I'm giving you these little mnemonic devices or little brain reminders, I guess, uh, to help you remember. So median, I think of the road, the median is in the middle of the road. Um, and the mode happens the most, they sound alike. Um, and I said yesterday that the mean is mean, it makes you do a lot of work. All right, so now we are looking at our next Thing, um, that we are working on is the key concept of I should use place value to round multi-digit whole numbers to any place. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pay attention to which place value it is. It's thousands. So I count tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this is the place value that I'm rounding to. I know that I need to look next door and if this, sub, if this number is five or above, it goes up. If it's five, if it's below five, it stays the same. So since this is above, I need to change that six to seven. So that final answer will be this, 271 and 457 thousandths. So I'm going to click the correct answer, hit submit, view my score. My score is 10 out of 10, so we are good to go.